We're following a developing story out of South Africa where two-time Olympic champion Castor Semenya is challenging a new controversial track and field rule that forces female runners with naturally high levels of testosterone to lower those levels to compete in certain races. The world champion runner calls the regulation discriminatory and unjustifiable. She will challenge the rule in court. For more on this, we want to bring in CBS News foreign correspondent Deborah Pata. She's joining us now from Johannesburg, South Africa. So, Deborah, can you sort of walk us through the latest on uh, Castor Semenya's legal challenge here? Well, this is something that has been ongoing for a decade. Castor Semenya is challenging this new regulation. She says it is unfair, it is discriminatory. Her legal team, which comprises of a South African legal team and a Canadian legal team now, they've joined forces with this legal team, um, is going to take this all the way to the Court of Arbitration for Sport in Switzerland. The Canadians have been brought in because they were very successful in the case of another athlete, Duty Chand, the Indian sprinter in 2015 who challenged a similar ruling by the IAAF and actually won. They got the IAAF to suspend this ruling for two years while they went further investigations into what elevated testosterone levels mean. But now the new rulings have come into force and Castor Semenya with her legal team is going to take this all the way. Her legal team believe that this is a landmark case because it raises issues of international human rights violations, of gender discrimination and will effectively address the issue of what it means to be a woman. Does elevated testosterone really give one an unfair advantage? If this legislation is successful, it means that Castor Semenya's career would be in tatters unless she undergoes very invasive medical treatment. So how exactly did this testosterone rule come about and what prompted, I guess, track and field's governing body to create a regulation that focused on this specific issue. Well, Vlad, it has a long history. Castor Semenya has been subjected to humiliating public scrutiny of her body, of her gender, being forced to undergo treatment in the past to reduce her testosterone level. She has a condition known as hyperandrogenism. This means she has naturally, and that is the key issue here, naturally elevated testosterone levels. Other female athletes are the first ones to complain, saying that she has an unfair competitive advantage, that when Castor Semenya is running, there is no competition. And she's often been subjected to very cruel treatment by other players who've called her a man and saying that this is just blatantly unfair. And this is something that has dogged her entire career. But those who support Castor Semenya are saying that this new regulation that the IAAF is claiming will level the playing field is just blatantly blatantly unfair as well. And they point to issues of this being just a simple genetic anomaly, like many other athletes have, but is never raised in public. For example, they'll cite somebody like Eero Manteranto, who was the Finnish cross-country skier who had naturally high red blood cell counts. Or somebody more recently like Usain Bolt, who has, you know, elevated and an abundance of fast muscle twitch fibers, certainly way more muscle fibers than I or you may have, and if we even attempted um, to run in that kind of of way and that they're never criticized for having an unfair advantage despite the fact as we all know Usain Bolt obliterated all competition. Castor Semenya however they say doesn't really have a competitive advantage it's just simply a genetic anomaly and in fact they say she may have a disadvantage she is black she is female she is lesbian she is um, playing in a sport that is often homophobic racist and sexist she comes from a disadvantaged background they had no running water and very little electricity in the town that she grew up in and that she has to fight all of this just to get on the track while her critics, the runners who are criticizing her, often come from Western backgrounds with wonderful education, modern sports and training facilities. So who really has the advantage? It goes down to the issue of what makes a woman a woman. Is it raised testosterone? And as the sports journalist Kate Fagan once tweeted, almost tongue in cheek, I know for sure, she said, Castor Semenya is a woman because Everyone is trying to control her body. Mm. Hmm. Um, so her signature pose is something called the cobra. We have some sound of her actually talking about that signature move. We're going to play that and we'll talk afterwards. Cobra is because I'm, uh, I'm quite fast in my last 200. So if you mess with the with cobra, <laughs> you die. So uh, it was like that. <laughs>
So, Deborah, listen, you know, typically these governing bodies, when it comes to sport, they do not want athletes to do anything that will artificially alter their physiology. In this case, it's different. I wonder if she talked at all about the impact on her health outside of just running. I mean, when you're talking about changing your hormones, there are a lot of things that can change about you as a result. Well, Cassis Mini hasn't spoken publicly much about it. She doesn't like talking about it. She shies away. All she says is she wants to run naturally. But this has had an impact. She's, she's been subjected to this for a decade. I mean, when it first surfaced 10 years ago, the ruling South African body also treated her very unfairly. In fact, they lied publicly about how they were handling it. There's an issue about money. It's very expensive to run this legal case, and she's battling to get the funding, even though the sports department of the South African government has set aside money for her lawyers so you know she's been dogged all the time what she has said publicly is that she doesn't believe that it's fair that she has to undergo invasive medical treatment she wants to run naturally see she says the way that she was born and her comment on the matter was that she's deeply upset that this is once again being dragged into the public domain and in fact she says very very um, proudly she said I am Mukhadi Castor Semenya I am a woman and I am fast. Those were her final words on the matter. Hmm. Uh, indeed she is. And uh, Deborah, thank you again, as always, for your reporting on this. We really appreciate it. It's a really fascinating subject.